it's amazing how just a little thing can really hurt. Oh my god. I just hit my ankle on the edge of this chair right here. Not this. Just a chair right here. Just the, oh my god. Now it's just like a knife thing going. Through. Anyway, never mind about that. Hey, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system. Located underneath the Arkville, found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. And today, it's record day. That's all it is. It's record stories. I'm going to tell stories I uh, told on Facebook again, but verbally. Okay, so it was the 1,000 mile yard sale, the US 127 yard sale, Dixie Highway, starts here in the area. I never go to the head of it, like the head of the Amazon River. Who goes there? Not very many people. So I don't go downtown, but there was an article about a guy that was going to have records there. So I went there, and he had some records, and I picked up this one. The Tremolos, Suddenly You Love Me. It's kind of an, a cool psych, psych album. It was five bucks. Uh, it, 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 and I knew, looking at his records, the guy was a real record collector because he had um, all his records were in sleeves, even the ones that I think, why would you bother? Uh, they had prices and dates. He kind of knew when each album was released. And the stickers were not on the record. It, they put them on the sleeve. And I know why dealers put stickers on records, because they can't pay attention all the time and people slip the album out of it, you know, a sleeve into another sleeve. But while I'm standing there, there's this younger, you know, 20-something kid looking through records. I don't know, I don't know. There was a woman there, maybe she was in her late 30s. Anyway, for whatever reasons, she asked this kid, can I help you? And the kid says, and really kind of like really serious like and it's important well I'm looking for very specific records I'm thinking oh really rare stuff you know what could he be looking for and then he says I'm looking for all Blondie's albums so that I can hang them on the wall in my living room then he asked the lady do you have a record store and then she said like kind of like this well no and she points to this old guy sitting on the ground looking through records. That's my father over there, and, and he just he just does this for a hobby. I figured when she was a little girl, he moved all her furniture out into the garden shed so he could move records into her room, and she never got over the trauma of her youth. And next, okay, next, there was a new record store that somebody told me about. It happened to be right there at the head of the Amazon River. And, I, and it was open. Okay, so I went in, and it's small. The whole space is very small. Uh, half the size of Manic Mark's bunker here. Very tidy. Of course, it just opened. The guy just opened it. That's no excuse for a record store to be tidy. Anyway, I'm kind of looking around, and, and he's just got he's half the store's CDs, okay? And then the other half is just like, um, you know, like 70s and 80s pop. So I, I, I just thought, oh, well, I might as well ask. So uh, do you have any 50s or 60s mood music or lounge? And he looked at me like I was from another planet. He went, well, um, I've got a few oldies. I don't think he's going to last long because one, a record store that's organized and not cluttered, something wrong with that. And two, he doesn't have any lounge or mood or easy listening music. He didn't even have a bin for stuff that's unusual. But in his very small discount bin, I did find kind of a... It's not that you can't get them, but they're kind of pricey. The soundtrack to Enter the Dragon by Lalo Schifrin. Composed and directed. Arranged and composed and directed. Composed and directed. The music, and it's a really good album. 70s. A good 70s vibe. Um, plays through pretty good as a record, you know, even though there's there's changes in pay, pace, you know, for the movie and a soundtrack, right? Plays through pretty good as a record. Really liked it. Okay, now on to the record store records. Today I stopped at uh, f uh, another record store that's just down the street from me, and um, the guy in there, he's been in business for freaking ever. Uh, he's a businessman, no, and his store is always very tidy, I must say, but around his counter in his work area, total a mess, but where you go to look at the record, normally very tidy, all right. Went in there and picked out some good records. Not all of them were a dollar, but many of them were. Okay, 
I don't know if I've had this before or not. It's classical music for people who don't know anything about classical music. It was just a neat cover, and I don't remember if I've had it before. Should be a date on it, 1957. That was a buck. Also for a dollar, I have no idea. Demonstration not for sale. Spencer Ross's orchestra. Saxophone solos by Jimmy Abato. I don't know, I just picked it up. Organ and Firelight. How sh shits. It, it, this, it was worth a dollar just for the, the image of the family. Supposedly sitting in the living room, the very sterile living room. But interestingly enough, some of the song titles are, are are interesting enough. Like the ecstasy tango in Lisbon Antigua, and taboo. They're those they're they're on here, so there could be something interesting on that record. I don't think I've had this one. This is a harmony, great harmony cover with nice type treatment. It's a live. Vio Salas, I'm sure I, I butchered that. Recorded in Brazil, Rendezvous in Rio. Blue Nocturnes on this. That could be good. Looking forward to listening to that. Uh, another kind of cool cover. Penthouse Paradise, Paul Tubman plays the organ and piano. This was a great cover. This was also a dollar. It's a King record, sleek, smooth, and danceable. The Palladium Swing Band, recorded in London. It's just, it's just a great cover. But most of the King records I get aren't, they aren't. Um, private Press, dinner at Patty's with the Bob Travis Trio. Okay, where's Patty's? Does it say anything about that? Patty's, Patty's Rib Room at Cape Cod. They're now peering on the, on the pier lawn, lounge, under long-term contract. There's a copy, there's a copy, there's a cover of MacArthur Park <laughs> on this record. It's Midnight Cowboy and Stormy and Superstar. I mean, this could be interesting. Also interesting is this app. Mimi Hines, I've never heard of her. It's it's a uh, artistically good-looking cover, I think. The music is arranged, produced and arranged by Don Costa. He was a good arranger. But the label, look at that, it looks like a promotional. It is a promotional deck of labels. So, I, I, I don't know, I'm just interested. I, just don't go on. Um, Shirley Basie, an early Shirley Basie. This was 13 bucks. Mm. This was $7, just so you know where I'm throwing my money away at. Shirley Basie, she did like the 007 stuff, if I'm not mistaken, um, later on in her life, and she has a really nice timber to her voice. A Marion Brock album I don't have. It's on right records. And the only way you can tell is to look at the matrix information on the record itself. Anyway, my Wright blog, the person that blogs records for Wright may be interested in that one. Okay. Sun, Sunter, 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 Finnegan? Don't have this one. Straight down the middle. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't have any idea. They made some good stuff. Some jazzy, innovative jazz stuff. Uh, uh, with innovative jazzy, everybody go on. Evening in Lebanon. Frank Shacks, 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 Shacksville. I just got it because of the lady's makeup. Look at her eyeshadow. It's that very heavy sort of turquoisey blue eyeshadow that you frequently see on ladies of the evening. Well, it is the evening, and she's a lady, so why not? This is also curious looking. I, I get tired of saying interesting, so I'm using the word curious now. That's preposterous. Somebody said it on TV the other night, and I realized I don't think I've ever said that word, preposterous. And I love the word so much, I'm going to say it whenever I possibly can. This is preposterous. For those who have been aboard Continental Visa, orchestra conducted by Raoul Maynard, 
April in Portugal is on this. And another song. Oh, Beyond the Sea. Beyond the Sea is on this. Stan Kenton and, and, and what the hell? June Christie. Of course I know what her name is. Once I read it on the back. Uh, they get together and do some stuff. I think he's just playing the piano on this one. I don't know. That could be good. I've had this before, but it was a dollar. I thought I'd buy it and trade it away. And last but not least, uh, this could be what I, fe I feature because it's a budget thing cover of hair deal, Aquarius and all that stuff by the Galaxy Generation for design, a studio group. So that could be great fun right there. So lots of good records. That was a dollar too, by the way. So pricing is, is curious because I've never seen that budget record anywhere at any price. And then suddenly there it is for a dollar. I snapped it up just like that. Thank mm -hmm. you.